And the former Chelsea and Juventus player Gianluca Vialli has died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 58. The former Chelsea striker and manager Gianluca Vialli has died at the age of 58 from pancreatic cancer. Tributes have been pouring in for the man who not only played for Chelsea but also managed the club. He played 59 times for his national team of Italy as well. The Italian Football Federation has confirmed that a minute's silence will be held before all Italian matches this weekend. Our sports correspondent Jane Dougal reports. This was Gianluca Vialli at the Euros in 2021, triumphant with his countrymen as Italy lifted the trophy at Wembley. Italy are the champions of Europe. He had been part of Italy's backroom staff, but shortly afterwards, Vialli announced his cancer had returned. As news of the 58-year-old's death broke, a minute's silence was held at Chelsea's training ground. Former Chelsea manager and Italian teammate Carlo Ancelotti also paid tribute. It's a sad day for me. I said goodbye to a friend, a colleague, a very nice person, a great player. May he rest in peace. As a player, Gianluca Vialli was considered one of the most dynamic and versatile strikers. He signed for Chelsea in 1996 as part of a new wave of foreign stars to English football. It meant he had to learn the language. But uh, when I speak with uh, Dennis, I understand nothing. <laughs> but I think he's an intelligent guy. <laughs> he scored 40 goals for Chelsea, but it was his personality which endeared Viali to fans from all clubs. As player-manager, he led Chelsea to the Cup Winners' Cup. Congratulations, fantastic. Thank you very much and see you next season. Yeah, definitely. Now we are going on holiday. <laughs> and in 2000, Chelsea won the FA Cup, this time with Viali as manager. That's a good turn by Viali. He earned 59 caps for Italy, scoring here against Spain at the Euros in 1988. In 2017, Viali was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. In an interview with the BBC, he spoke of facing the illness with the strength he'd shown throughout his career. I see it as a, as a journey with uh, uh, an unwanted travel companion, one that I hope I will outlast eventually and he will leave me alone. Today, Chelsea said he would be forever written across their club's history, but all of English and Italian football has lost one of its most colourful characters. Gianluca Vialli, who has died at the age of 58. The talents and achievements of former Chelsea player and manager Gianluca Vialli were remembered today after his death at the age of 58. Vialli, who'd been undergoing treatment for pancreatic cancer, was the first Italian to manage a top flight English club. Former teammates paid tribute to his warmth and his gorgeous soul, as Ian Woods reports. This was Gianluca Vialli's greatest moment, lifting the Champions League trophy as captain of Juventus. It was the last chapter of a glittering career in Italy, but a new story was about to be written. He signed for Chelsea, just as they were about to become a major force in European football. Chelsea signed a world-class superstar who just won the Champions League with Juventus. He was a real icon, one of the greatest strikers of his generation, and he bought into Chelsea so quickly. Chelsea began winning trophies, but Vialli wasn't always guaranteed a place in the side. Despite that, he was elevated to player-manager, aged just 33, the first Italian in charge of a Premier League side and led them to an FA Cup win at Wembley. But like many Chelsea managers, his tenure was brief and his managerial career never reached the heights he achieved as a player for Juventus and Italy. Early in his career, he was a young teammate of Graham Souness. He was older than me, Graham, but uh, I had a fantastic relationship. He was really looking after me. I won the news 10 minutes ago, and um, I can't tell you how good a guy he was. He, um, Forget football for, for a minute. He, he, he was just a, a gorgeous soul. He, he, was, he was just a truly nice human being. His last triumph came in a sweet return to London as a member of the coaching staff when Italy beat England in the final of Euro 2020. The alley had already been successfully treated for pancreatic cancer, but when he was diagnosed again, his illness forced him to quit the job just last month. Gianluca Vialli, who's died aged 58.